We had May 4th, and, the, and may the Force be with you, and the Jedi holiday. But today we go back looking at the Grand Republic Army and the M beginning of the Empire, as we take a second look at the Venator Star Destroyer. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are taking a second look at the Venator Star Destroyer. So this Star Destroyer had a long history for not only the Republic during the Clone War, but also at the beginning of the Empire as we saw Tarkin and all of them start to form the uh, Imperial military and navies. The Venator was the frontline cruiser for the Imperial Navy and the Grand Republic's navies. So. When I first started the channel, one of the first few videos I did was this Venator Star Destroyer in front of you. One print on a CR-10, one model, one piece. Job done, right? Well, job done. Meh. What do we do on this channel? We do it better and we make it larger. So that's what we're doing today is we are going to print a multi-piece completely doable with an Ender 3 printer. Venator Star Destroyer with good high detail, especially in the trim lines. And we're going to put this together and we're going to make a really cool model. So we're going to hop to Kira. We're going to start slicing some of the bits and pieces so you can see what I mean by this can be done by starting with an Ender 3. I didn't do it entirely with an Ender 3. There were just so many parts I wanted to get this cranked out. I did pull some of my CR-10s in there. But the lar a lot of the large pieces were done with an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 and an Ender 3 V2. I've got both. So, and then I pulled in the CR10s to help finish out the model. So, a lot of cool stuff behind this. This thing was a, a basically a battle cruiser slash carrier slash multi purpose role ship for the Republic and the beginning of the Empire. So, we're going to get this guy sliced in Kira. We're going to print it. We're going to put it together. And that's where we're going to stop because there's a lot of work I still have to do on this model to get it finished. Basically, another video will be done on, and it may not be on this channel, it may be on the new channel that I have decided to start, of filling, sanding, primering, painting, and sealing it, and getting it ready to ship out. <laughs> so, that's the plan today. So. If at any point in this video you guys do enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let me know if the video is something that you want to see. Also, you know, leave a comment down below. I know I'm revisiting a ship, but there's a purpose to this revisit as we're making it bigger and just, it's a, it's a beautiful model. And I couldn't pass it up because I do really enjoy this ship. I, it has a weird feature with the double bridge on the top, but hey, you know, it's space, who knows? But Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this around with your friends, especially if you've got Star Wars or even Star Trek fans or just sci-fi fans. Share the video around because that's what we kind of do over here is we touch on a lot of science fiction. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the basically slicing, the print, and the assembly. So let's get started. Alright, so here we are at the computer, and as you can see, I've got the model that I printed off. This one is the large scale. Um, beautiful model. There's a stand in the kit. No, I did not print the stand. I may still print it, but I had not planned on printing it for this for this uh, video. So, PHG ERV. This is a fabulous model. It was really well done, really well made to be able to print and make a large scale model of the ship. So, all credit to the model maker. You made a fantastic model with all the parts. Um, and as you can see here, you know, as we sit through, they do have the um, whole model in the kit if you just want to print one piece, but it is beautifully cut up so that you can print this model. Um, detail is fantastic, especially in the high detail parts that will go in the grooves like these. They're very well done. So <clears throat> the only thing that I ran into is in these pieces, they're print fine at 100%. These, I wound up having to kick them down to 65% for them to fit in the channel. So keep that in mind as you go through here and print these that you're going to have to kick some of them down. So 
With that said, let's hop over to Kira. And I've got a ton of Kira stuff open. And here's those pieces, as I said. So these pieces, I had to kick them down to 65% of scale for them to fit in the groove, to slide in. So that is one thing to keep in mind as you go through this model, that there are some sizing things that have to be done. So these are the high detail parts, and like I said, they're very well high detail. I printed extras, and I didn't even notice those were over there. But let's get into the, to the actual meat and potatoes of this ship, and let's take a look at some of the models and get some of the settings set. So I am going to clear my build plate of those high detail parts, and for fun, we're going to kick down to an Ender 3. I am now using Cura 4.9. I'm still kind of learning it. Um, definitely how you go around your view has changed a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure I'm in love with it, but it's it's the way it is. So let's look at the rear section, look at the engine pieces. So you can print sideways like this, how it came onto the build plate. I did not like this because it's going to generate a bunch of support in here. So I turned mine and I laid them the other way. So basically I just grabbed it and I turned it. Well, no, wrong. Uh, of course, Kira. Let's get that back on the build plate the way it's supposed to be. And I grabbed it here and I turned it like this. That way they were building its towers, less support, um, less filament usage than what, we, than what you need by going this direction with this piece. The other parts, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to clear the build plate of that piece. So, and a lot of these, you're doing the same part, they're just mirrored. So um, I'm not going to do another rear section. Uh, let's grab a midsection, left, midsection left. So as you can see, really good detail, really smooth. Kira's not helping me with really how, there we go, there's the lines popping in. They're not as visible. Um, this piece was kind of a pain. I broke it a couple times and had to re-glue it. <laughs> but even on my other model, it was that way. So basically, uh, you know, the parts are really well separated. So let's pull midsection one. This is the part with the, the bridge. As you can see, the shuttle bay part is there, the aft detailing. This is where the detail, one of the detail slot pieces will slot in. You did have a little bit of support here, so you won't see me taking it off the rafts. Because honestly, there wasn't that much support to take off. And that was a really one of the fabulous things about this model. I used very low infill um, because I'm building, I built this as a model. You can see my raft setting there is way up there. Honestly, you can get away with a, a easy five. And with the bridge being out like that, that's why I like doing a raft is the supports get a good hold. And you know, the guns, they came out pretty well. There's a little bit of support there that the system will generate. Not a lot of support goes in onto this model. So there's not a lot of bad use and just for fun here. So each midsection is like that. So you can easily build this, not a lot of support. If you're wanting to go for the full bore thing, <laughs> uh, let's grab it and I'm going to have to shrink it to, let's go 2%, maybe. Oh, it's probably off in law. Yep, it's off in law law land. And it's still too big. Wow, I had not tried this one before looking at it. So this is kind of fun, 0 0.005. There we go. And again, it's off in La La Land. Uh, kind of one of the quirks I'm noticing with Kira. So there's the full model that you can print. And as you can see, I had to kick this guy down to 0 0.01 to even get him near the build plate. So. Oh, this view thing is going to drive me nuts eventually. I can't zoom into him anymore either. So basically you can orient him. If you go back and watch my first video, we can orient him like that. Scale him up.
and get I've hit something that I can't zoom in and out uh, and I accidentally scaled it there we go all right guys so as you can see even at 0 0.5 it is just way too big to fit on that build plate for an Ender 3 now that is an Ender 3 build plate not my usual typical CR 10 so keep that in mind so let's go zero two there you go so you can print it full at a zero two um and it will do okay you might have some you might want to cut it down to zero point one eight to uh make sure you get you don't hit the top of your build area because that that'll cause a fail so again here are my settings so layer height point two initial layer height point two um, I did most of this, especially the image you, you will see in blue with the blue tinting. That was all in Ender 3. I did pull the CR-10, as I said, to get this guy um, printing in. And one thing, too, someone asked in a video recently, what plugins do I have? So I have Auto Orientation, Custom Supports, Mesh Tools, Settings Guide, which is great because it goes through and actually gives you an explanation of your settings, so especially if you're new. That one's a good one for you. And then sidebar GUI, which is what's giving me this. So just kind of a heads up on that one. So, all right. So, and Kira crashed. That's the other problem I'm having with 4.9. Uh, oh, wait, it came back. Awesome. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to the print. Then you'll see the almost finished model. I didn't have the detail pieces. I just got those done today. Um, because of the sizing issue, I didn't realize that I had a problem. So those are fixed, but you'll see those in the painting and final, final put together video. So hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you at the end.
So there we go. We've printed it. It's in one pig piece. It is a mighty good size model. I love the detail. This is not fully complete, but I'm still working on putting in some of the side detail pieces. I printed them 100%. They were too big. I had to knock them down to 65 to get them to slide in and fit properly. Um, these pieces here were printed at 100 and they fit fine. So there's a little bit of discrepancy in sizing in the model. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup and some changing on the guns here to make them look a little bit better. And I've got a lot of gap filling to fill in here. So I'm going to be filling in the gaps, sanding, getting this thing. I did put a coat of primer on here because it was, it was two or three different colors. So to kind of give that look of this is what it is. So again, here's your size comparison. We definitely soup this big boy up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch me over on the other when the other video comes out to see this guy primed and put and painted and get this thing looking like an Imperial Cruiser. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.